Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner, and um, today we'll be talking about failure in business. In the olden days, in the 1940s, 30s, 1950s, the past like that, failure used to be something that is very dreaded. That is, people fear failure. If you're an employee and you fail, you get fired immediately. If you're an, an employer and you fail, you shut down the business and go to the next business. It has always been like that for a long time. So, but as computers started coming and the, and people started learning something, people who led successful companies started talking. You know, there is this uh, media coming out, and people started talking, and then they, they started exposing some of their secrets, and that is that failure is very very instrumental to success. That you can't succeed without having failing so many times along the road. Okay, they started saying that failure is a part of the process of success, not just an endpoint. It's not mutually exclusive. It's not either you fail or succeed. It's usually you fail, 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 then you succeed. The Drew Houston, the guy who the CEO of Dropbox, he said, "Don't worry about failure. You only have to get it right only once." So people started understanding failure in a new dimension. So, but there is still a problem. Failure is still very dangerous. Failure is still very disastrous. Failure still kills companies even till today at a very wide scale. In fact, official statistics says that only 2.5% of companies, new companies, survive within the first two years. So if a company starts, there is over a 97% chance that it will die within the next two years. So the, the failure rate is still very high. So why, why is this still high despite the fact that uh, people who have succeeded have said, are saying that they have failed so many times? So the reason I'm going to tell you now is that the way you can be successful in your own so you don't run into the same issue is Fail when the cost of the failure is still very little. You know, each failure has a cost. It tells on your capital, it tells on your moral, it tells on a whole lot, lot of things. So fail when that cost is still little. You know, people don't lose money. They only buy experience. If somebody invests in this business and business crashes, they don't lose money. It's experience they, that they bought. They bought an experience of how to manage businesses in, or how not to manage business in a certain way. So, when you are in, in, when you are starting a business, um, many things come along the road. That is, for instance, there are so many things you don't know. So you make mistakes, and um, according to statistics, over ninety-seven percent of these mistakes will kill the business. So what is the secret? Start the business when you don't have enough wherewithal to run it. When you don't have enough capital to waste. When, that is the best time to start this business. When you don't have enough human resources, best time to start this business. Okay, you start it at a smaller scale that that your small capital can grow on. So those mistakes that you will make will be little. The cost will be little. So assuming you have only 5,000 Naira to run a business and you make a mistake. For instance, you place the wrong advert on Facebook and it runs for one week and you get no returns. You might have wasted 3,000 Naira or 3,000 dollars as the case may be, but then it's still small. You can recover. By next month, you see yourself bouncing back and recovering. So, but some people don't do this. They don't start on time. So they start when they are now ready and when the capital is now huge. You see them making the exact same mistakes they would have made with 3,000 Naira at 300,000 dollars. You see them having a lot of money and they are making the basic mistakes they should have made when they were still starting up so that's why you see so many startups they have they, they start up they make a lot of noise they get investors and funding then they burn down it happens all the time go check the news all the time you see a startup one that gets one million dollar two million dollar funding five million dollar funding the next thing they are born to through because they are making simple basic mistakes that anybody who started business at a small scale would have known but then they are making it at a very high cost when they now have a lot of money so each simple mistake costs a lot of money each simple mistake costs a lot of money so the secret is start when 
you are still not having a lot of capital at hand. Start a smaller model or version of that business and start trying things out and learn. You need to learn as fast as possible. Okay? So the final thing to always check is that hey, from any little mistake you make, you learn from it. Any little mistake you learn. So at the end of the day, you, you need to calm down and come back to yourself and analyze your strategy and your mistakes and pivot often. So thank you very much. See you in the next video tutorial. My name is Dave Partner. Like and share this video. If you're on YouTube, there's a red subscribe button at the bottom of this video. Click on it to subscribe to my video tutorials. I've made so many tutorials like this and I bet you will like them. Thank you. See you in the next video.